pad and um, it is a pad a tonic pad if you don't know what it is is a pad that sounds um it, it it drones in whatever key you're playing in so this one from before was set up for the key of d so you hear how it's very subtle you know and that's because that's the proper way to use a, a tonic pad um you know it's supposed to always even at the crescendo of the song it should always be behind everything else it should not be on the forefront and there's no that's not really a rule i mean you, you can break that rule if you want no, no, no lightning is going to strike you or anything that i know of but it, i just find it to be i find it to be better i think it's, it's probably just a opinion you know but in my opinion i feel like a tonic pad should always sit behind everything else and so um I have it all set up here, so when I move this expression pedal, um, you'll notice it'll sound like it's getting louder, but it's not. It is uh, the filter opening up. Okay, the volume hasn't changed at all. The volume is still at negative, I think, five decibels. Okay, and so that's something having that filter assigned to this expression pedal really helps when I'm playing because it, it gives me control over that, you know, I could be, you know, playing loud with everybody else, you know. Add a little bit of reverb in. So, but there's two different ways that I have this configured this tonic pad so the the initial filter opening and closing is here um but you've noticed it's a very high pitch sound with a lot of airy a lot of air a lot of movement okay so one of these faders here i assigned to the that's fader four to the low end So now, now it's even further. <clears throat> it goes, it's hard to explain, but now it's even loud. It seems to be even louder than it was before, but it's not, it's, it's even more full. So this is, you know, is still there but that filter is now closed and it's a this would be useful for coming out of a coming out of a moment like that where people are still engaged in what they what, what what the words that just came out of their mouth whatever just happened in the room whatever is going on in this moment of worship you know you want to you want you don't want to just shut it all the way off on them, you know so having this low end present Again, the volume hasn't changed at all. Having the low end present, not uh, not having just, you know, that real high pitch thing, and you can use that too. Another thing you can do, if this moment is going to continue on and on and on, and you know it's going to, throw some shimmer, you know. And um, I'm using a built-in Ableton shimmer that I need to tweak a little bit because it's not quite right. But if this was coming, I'm going to turn that off. It's getting hard to talk over this was coming out of uh, like auditorium speaker the part that I'm noticing that is not quite right nobody else would notice so that was just a little demo of you know tonic pad and how easy and super easy it is to use just because